Uh, as you said, I'm Sam Montooth. I'm the strings teacher here. Uh, I do the fifth and sixth grade strings. And uh, for now, we're, uh, I'm going to introduce you to the sixth grade instrumental ensemble. Um, what we've done here is we've grouped everyone together in uh, kind of like a concert orchestra. So it's, it's, it's very similar to a concert band, but we've added strings. So what the sixth graders have done this last semester is had to learn a whole bunch of different fingerings and stuff because they're learning band music, which is a unique challenge for string players. Um, our first piece is going to be um, Camp Town Races, a traditional, traditional song. And uh, it'll feature everyone together and then there's separate parts for the different sections on the repeat. Our next song is called 008. It's in the style of a James Bond type theme, you know, mystery and action. Uh, and uh, hope you enjoy it. It's called 008 and it's pretty fun.
All right, we're now going to bring up four soloists. This is Ali, Tessa, Nikki, and uh, Mira, and uh, Sammy. And they are going to be doing Love Song. We're going to bring up uh, one of our trumpet players. This is Hero. This one was not in the program because he decided that he really wanted to do it today. So I, I was like, I'm all for it. So Hero's going to come up. He's going to be playing Yo Ho, A Pirate's Life for Me. Thank <laughs> you. 
All right, so our final piece that we're going to be doing is a little pop song. We have a little, little choir, we got some singers, and we got all the instruments playing. And um, this is one of uh, this is called "Best Day of Our Life" by American Authors. And before we do this song, uh, we had a little competition this this trimester, and I just wanted to announce the the winners. And the winners are the saxophones and the flutes. So congratulations! Let's give them a round of applause. We'll get a nice little party. We're now going to continue our portion of the concert with the fifth grade instrumental. So um, over here behind me is the fifth grade strings class. Wave. See how good they are in following directions? OK. Stop waving. All right. Uh, what I want to point out is uh, the fifth grade strings, this is their first year of playing these instruments. And um, it, string instruments are unique. They don't, you don't get them in a year. They're not something that you can just pick up and play in a year and sound great. It takes some time and some perseverance and a lot of practice. Um, and I just want to say that it's obvious that these guys have practiced because they, they've got good tone, they sound good, they pay attention. Um, I'm very happy with them. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, how many of you, just to raise your hand, how many of you have never played an instrument before in any of the classes? I mean, didn't play anything before this? 
class. Really? More? Less? No? Okay. The instrument you're holding in your hand, you played before this class? Oh, there we go. Let's try that again. How many of you have never played the instrument that's in your hand before this year? All right. Yeah. Okay. So hopefully you will appreciate how, how much they've worked. Uh, we're going to start uh, for the string section. We're going to do all the strings first, and then we're going to go on to the woodwinds and the brass. But we're going to start with the most beloved beginner song ever, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. <laughs> Yes, please turn the lights down and set the mood. Here we go. Ready? You guys are holding up already. <laughs> A lot of string playing is being able to do this, right? It's it's really you have to get two things going on independently at the same time, and that's probably the hardest thing is just getting the bow to do what it's supposed to do when it's supposed to do it. Play one string at a time. It's not like a guitar where you play all of them at the same time; it doesn't matter. You have to play one string at a time, and you have to do it perfectly every time, or it doesn't come out right. You don't get an option. Otherwise, it sounds like and it's terrible. Well, you guys know you heard in practice, right? But. but Hopefully you can hear the difference, right, if, if you take the time. So it's a difficult process. Okay, the next song we're going to do is a, um, is a very, very old song, traditional song. It's called Scotland's Burning, but it actually has its roots way back farther than Scotland was even around. Uh, it's a five to six hundred year old theme called Scotland's Burning. Feels like it should go on, doesn't it? All right. <laughs> Those old songs, they didn't know how to like follow through. Okay. Um, the next one is probably our trickiest one, not only because of it's tricky to play, but it's also called tricky melody. And the trick is in music, there's instruction to play the notes, which is usually pretty easy. Making a sound is easy. Knowing when not to make a sound, that's tricky. So this song is about counting rests and knowing when not to play. And uh, it's easily, I think, I think it's the most difficult one they have. So um, here it is, tricky melody. Thank you. 
Good job, guys. All right, our next one is French folk song, and this song is in a different meter. Meter is when we count per bar, so typically most of the songs you've heard tonight have been in four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This one's in three, so it's one, two, three. It's like a waltz. Again, it's French folk song. last song is called Concert Song. Now, so far you've heard them all play unison songs, meaning all the notes are the same in all the instruments. And we have three different instruments up here. I don't know if you noticed. So we have uh, a cello, a one powerful cello. Yeah. Our violas. Raise your hand, violas. Raise them like you care. There you go. There we go. And violins, of course. Yes, there we go. So in this particular song, each one of those instruments has a unique music line, much like a string orchestra. So this is the first chance of them to play independent lines, creating harmony and different rhythms and all that stuff. So the trick about this is learning how to keep your place when somebody next to you is playing something completely different than you and still making it sound like music. So um, this is kind of like the, the, the challenge is to be able to be focused enough to keep on track. We do have a few people playing the solo line, which is a more complicated line with different rhythms as well. Raise your hand if you're doing the solo line. There we go. And see if you can listen and hear the different parts. Um, there's uh, three separate melody lines. And uh, again, this is called Concert Song. And this is our last song for this portion. Very much. Now I'm going to turn it over to. Wait. Ah, yes. We have our drum solo. Oliver is going to come down and do a. Get your autographs today, because they're going to be worth something later. Uh, Oliver already did this uh, this morning, and everybody was blown away. So not to not to make him nervous or anything, but he doesn't get nervous. This is great. So he's, he's uh, written this composition himself. So this is an original drum solo.
Very cool. All right, next up we're going to Next up we're going to have Melody Herb. She's going to be playing The Fly's Adventure over here on piano. Kids never like to bow, but it's very important that you acknowledge the audience. So, Okay, uh, next up we're going to have Vishal, and he's going to be playing Surprise Symphony on the flute. Next we're going to bring up Kareem and he's going to be playing Fight Song and Oliver's also going to accompany him a little bit. Now I'm going to give the mic to Mrs. Taylor, our woodwinds teacher. Okay. All right. Our next portion of the show is the, are the fifth grade woodwinds brass and percussion taught by myself. I'm Mrs. Taylor and Mr. Peterson. And uh, first I'd like to say that um, I guess it was about the third week of school maybe that Kareem um, told me he was learning fight song. And I can't take any credit for it because he, he had a YouTube teacher for that one. <laughs> right? Anyway, he, he kind of learned that on his own. So I was really proud of him for that. Okay, so we're going to kind of start where we started at the beginning and uh, progress as we go. Our first, very first song was Hot Crust Buns. We'll start with that one.
Next, we're playing a different folk, French folk song than the strings. It's called A Clair de la Lune. Next, our brass and percussion class is going to play uh, a song called Better Than the Rest. It's also a song that teaches you about rest in music. Our next song is called Donkey Round, and you'll actually kind of hear the sounds of a donkey in this one. And um, also, this is a round. That means that we have different groups that start at different times. So everyone's playing the same song, but we're starting at different times, which creates harmony in the music. Another piece about flies, this one's called shoe fly. And the first time you'll, you'll hear the woodwinds, the second time the brass and percussion. Some of our woodwind players are going to play Polly Wally Doodle.
our next song is an American fiddle tune called Bile Them Cabbage Down. And this time you'll get to hear each group of instruments separately, and then they'll play it all together. So I'm just going to say this to kind of remind the students. So flutes are playing first, then the saxophone second, the clarinets are third, the trumpets are fourth, and the trombones are fifth, and then they play it all together. Our next piece and our last piece was quite a challenge for us. In fact, in the past, I think we've only done this with sixth graders. But um, this is kind of like what the strings did, where every instrument has a different part, and then we put it together. So this is an excerpt from Tchaikovsky's 1812 Overture. Let's give a final round of applause to all of our performers today.